Now we're doing free code camp, JavaScript algorithms and data structures beta. Learn basic JavaScript by building a role playing game. Step 123. All right. So JavaScript offers the built in math utility, which offers a number of mathematical tools. It sure does. Uh, one of those is math.random, which generates a random number between zero and one. And another is math.floor, which rounds a given number down to the nearest integer, all right? So these are uh, used, this one's used a lot. This one's pretty much only used for these type of uh, situations where you're doing like, you know, monster stuff and whatever, uh, like, like, you know, XP stuff and stuff. But, but this one is used for a lot of different applications. Uh, so anyway, getting back to it, using these, uh, we can generate a random number within a range. For example, this generates a random number between one and five, this thing right here, right? So let's go over this because clearly they didn't do any kind of attempt to say what this means. Uh, so math.random right here times five, right? So it's between one and five. So let's say we're trying to get the random number, right? So we'll say uh, it's gonna get, math.random is gonna give us a number between one and zero. So let's say it gives us uh, 0 0.025 as the random number, okay? So that times five will be uh, 0 0.025, 0 0.1 something, 0 0.125, right? Uh, so that's going to round down when we do the math out floor, right? So it's going to round down to zero, so it's not going to give us anything. But then we add one to it, and it'll give us the number one, right? So that's why there's the number one here. So if it gives us like a uh, point, uh, something that gives us at the end, at the end, it'll give us like four point, uh, you know, four point seven or something. Uh, when we do the math dot floor, it'll round down to four. And then when we add one to it, it gives us the five, right? So that's how this thing's working right here. So that being said, following this pattern, we're going to use the addition operator, the plus sign. Uh, to add a random number between one and the value of XP to our monster health variable change. All right, cool. So the XP, we come up here, we can see we start off with zero XP, right? So this first one is pretty much just going to add one to it. But when it gets up to like we've got like a million XP, uh, then it's going to do something different. All right, so what we're going to do here is we will say uh, we're going to add to it the random thing between one and the value of XP. So just like here, it's between one and five. We're going to have XP where the five is. So let's come over here and let's add. And when we do something like this, we're going to do what's inside the f this parentheses first. And then we're going to do this one. All right. That way uh, we can avoid getting confused. We don't just write it straight across. I mean, you can if you want, but. I don't, I, I feel like that doesn't make sense. So we're going to do a math.random dot random. Okay. So that's going to give us our random number between zero and one. And then we're going to multiply that by five. So multiply by not five, but XP, right? So now we've got that. So let's wrap this in parentheses. And now we're going to, uh, what's the word? We're going to, uh, round this down. So we'll do a math.floor, math.floor on that. So now we've rounded down what's in here. And now what we're going to do is we're going to add one to it, right? So plus one like that. And that should take care of it. Let's come down here and do a console.log, 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 uh, monster health, right? And let's uh, open up the console, go to the cave, uh, start picking on that slime. Let's uh, attack it. All right. So it was, uh, it did go down by five last time when we, uh, let's cons let's comment this stuff out. Uh, do do. So it did go down by five the first time, but now, as we saw earlier, it goes down by, uh, six fight slime attack it. There we go. So that works. Uh, let's check the code. Doesn't work. Why? Because it doesn't want this console.log there for this particular one. So let's get rid of that. Let's check the code one more time. Looks good. And submit it. All right. Now we're on to step 124. And we'll see you next time.